All right guys, so today I'm gonna show you how to mount an FMX. So I have all of my x-rays already spread out here. I'm gonna go ahead and turn my light box on. And what you always wanna start with is you're looking for the bite wing. So I'm just gonna set a couple on there and just separate my bite wings first. Your bite wings are gonna be basically your guideline to all of your other um, x-rays. So all of your PAs, your anteriors, everything is gonna be based off of your bite wing. So I'm just gonna separate them first before I actually grab my mount and put them together. And I already got my four bite wings. So I'm gonna go ahead and start trying to mount those. A couple of things you guys need to know whenever you are placing them in the actual mount itself, there is a right and wrong way. So what I mean by that is on these x-rays, you will notice that there's almost like a little of a hole punch. So what we call it is basically you want a pimple, not a dimple. So one side goes in, one side is basically poking out. So I'll try to zoom up so you guys can see it. This is what you guys want. So you want the pimple, not the dimple. So not going in, okay? So I'm gonna make sure they're all facing the right way. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and grab my mount. There's gonna be many different variations of this. This is the one that we have here. And one thing you wanna look for whenever you start with your bite wings and put inserting them in the mount is one, you're looking for what tooth numbers you have in your bite wings and also your curve of speed. So if you notice, this is what we call your curve of speed and basically it's just how the mouth is and how you're basically like when you smile. So your jaw goes a certain way, you have to have that. It wouldn't be facing down because that's not the curve of speed. So I'm gonna face it this way. We got all the way back on our molars here. So I'm gonna put this over here. And if you guys notice over here, I basically have a template of what teeth numbers you're looking for. So we have these here in school. So once you guys start doing them the first couple of times, you can use these, but after you should be able to distinguish by yourself. So again, I'm looking for my curve of speed. All right, so I got my bite wings all matched up. Remember, you're looking for your premolar shots are closest to the center, and then all the way back, if they had wisdom teeth, they would be captured in here, or you at least somewhat see a little bit of them. Um, this patient does not, so we're gonna go ahead, and if you guys notice, the next step after this is basically matching up what's on these bite wings. So if you notice, there is certain restorations, for example, that are on number two and number three, and that's how you would match up your PA for number two and number three. Another tip and trick is obviously you can always just separate your anteriors versus your posteriors. So remember, pimple, not a dimple. I'm just placing my anteriors on top just so I can separate them. All right, so here I'm gonna start matching up my restorations. So if you notice here, it looks like we have some form of a filling in regards to probably a composite or an amalgam. So here I'm gonna match up this restoration to my bite wing. So if you notice, it looks almost exactly the same. So that's the same shot, I'm gonna put it right above that bite wing. So that's why your bite wing is basically almost like your answer key to everything else. So 
So again, I'm matching up my restorations. This is the premolar shot. That filling looks exactly like that one. So I'm gonna match that up over here. One thing to notice about your anterior um, shots is one, looking at basically the size of the teeth. So what I mean by that is when you are matching up number 24 and 25 versus number eight and nine, obviously eight and nine are always gonna be bigger. So if you notice there, see the size difference. So one's obviously a lot larger than the other. So again, I'm just matching up restorations from my bite wings. I'm looking for root canals that are similar to my bite wings. I'm looking for crowns that are matching up my bite wings. And one other tip and trick too is if you notice on um, sand versus clouds. So in this one, you can see our clouds and that's basically the sinus area. So if you notice here on our other PA right here, sand versus clouds so clouds is always going to be above the sand so that way you can distinguish your upper versus lower and remember always pimple not a dimple all right guys so this is my completed mounted fmx so remember you always start with your bite wings and then use the pas and the anteriors off of the bite wings. So you're just looking for similar crowns off of the bite wings. So you see how that's exactly the same? That's the same. So same thing here, we're looking for similar root canal. Same thing on our PA there. So remember also, we have our clouds is always gonna be above our sand, okay? So just remember the difference between distinguishing the upper and lower and always pimple, not a dimple, okay? And then also whenever you guys are loading up the actual x-rays, remember they basically just slide in the back. So you have to hold it like this to basically load from behind. So you have to take the x-ray and place it in from behind. You can't basically try to mount it with this because this will be backwards. You wanna look at it once it's all said and done so the doctor can do any of his diagnosis from the x-ray, okay?